seen Pastor Johnson today? Anybody? Where does he go? I don't think he's here. Is he underneath? Do you think he's underneath the dirt again? Being molded and formed into Adam, is he there? I think Pastor Johnson's right here. What do you guys think? Or he's no longer Pastor Johnson. Now he's playing the part of Gardener One or Adam. I wonder where he is. Can you guys join me and say, Adam, where are you? Adam, where are you? Adam, come out. There he is. Look at him. There's Adam. He's all geared up. He's ready to go. Watch out. Watch out. Here he comes. He's. He looks like he's on a mission. Come on through, Adam. Okay. As he enters the garden, Adam is all geared up with his his nice uh, workout gear. He's He's got his gardening gear on. You can tell. His coveralls are in place, sort of. And he's ready to dig some holes and to prepare the fruit and the vegetables. Man, he's working hard. I'm pretty sure he's gonna need he's gonna need a drink. I think he's gonna need some refresh. What do you guys think? Does he, does he need a drink? Yeah. Maybe a little spritz of water. What do you guys think? Should we yeah. spritz him with some water? Yeah. Let's cool him off. Water. Nice, cool, refreshing water. Who else needs a spritz of water? Does anybody else need a spritz of water? Here we go. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Nice cool stream water refreshing everybody, including Adam. You just never know when the spring is going to come and refresh you, right? You never know. So, Adam, you feeling better? Oh, much, much better. I'm so, I was so thirsty, running around. Even my coveralls have all given up on me. Ah, and I'm so tired. You have you have a big garden to attend to, yeah, but some beautiful yeah, yeah. fruits. I just was just working on it. I yep. just got some mangoes and bananas, and uh, and I need to more, put more seed out of that. I'm so tired, man. In the midst of all of this just joy he was joyfully working in the garden yeah. and it wasn't hard work yeah. because yeah. god was providing but in the midst of all that he heard some crackling in the fields around him some noise as something was coming towards him and as it came towards him the noise got louder and louder and as you look around can you see something's happening someone's coming is anybody here is anybody here Help. Is anybody here? I can't find my way. It looks like another oh. hiker. Help. He's calling out. Is anybody here? Is anybody here? I need help. I've hey, lost my up? way. Hey, how are you? Yo, you look so tired. tired Coming man. a long way. Really it's so tired. heavy to carry the world I upon you. Man, beast, you know, all that hiking got me tired. Yeah. I think I need to take a break. The hiker I came and found a seat with the gardener. Yeah, I hope you, you do not break my uh, little stool there. No you worries, want a cup of water? Sure, thank you. How about, how about a banana? You know a banana? Adam is practicing good hospitality okay. at this point. I, I'll have one and you'll have one. How about that? Thank you. Adam, Adam says good morning to the hiker. So God, God created banana so you can you can have a good potassium on you. Oh, you know? really? Yeah, yeah, I need it. I need it. I'm yeah. so tired. Yeah. The hike was so long. Wow. You know? So what did you, where, where, where are you coming from? Where are you going to, buddy? I don't know. I'm just, just hiking around, just trying to find some, find some nice views, you know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the hiker, he found a nice seat, and Adam was gracious enough to let him sit there. Adam said to him, "No problem. You're welcome to sit here as long as you like." The hiker acknowledged the garden. As he looked around and he enjoyed the fruits from the garden, he acknowledged it, saying, you have a very nice garden. Beautiful garden, man. It's so, so awesome. Yes. And the gardener, Adam, as he was working, said, thank you. Would you like to try some? And he already had given him a banana to eat. That was refreshing. That's good for your tummy, though. Yeah. yeah. Try this. This is a mango. This is a good season. I love it. Does anybody here like mangoes? Yeah. Wow. Who would who would choose a banana or versus a mango? Who would go with a banana? Raise your hand. Like bananas. Okay. Banana. Who would choose the mango? Raise your hand. Mangoes. Ooh, more mangoes. It looks like. Yeah. Well, okay. That's my favorite. Excellent. So as they enjoy the fruit of the yeah. garden. We have it. Yeah. Thank you. 
and after eating after eating banana make sure you don't throw this make sure you can compost them oh, really? you can really help the earth yes you know? okay yeah Adam reminded him how God provides even in the recycling of materials and then um, he thought Adam thought it would be a good good idea for them to wash their hands after eating the food so they needed somebody to help wash their hands the stream was right there to help oh, man, wash their hands with a nice wash. cool yeah, spray, yeah, spray yeah. of yeah. the stream thank water thank you, thank you, thank you. upon them they even sprayed some the hiker sprayed some on his head all over his head oh it felt so good now yes and so the stream was so abundant and so providing that it even reached out to others to give them some cool mist and some spray. So Wonderful. All right. Now, having enjoyed some good fruit. Friend, friend, can you, can you help me? My coveralls yes. are all getting yes. up on me. Can you take yeah, One second. <laughs> sure, sure. So, I got you. We go out of them sometimes. This is hospitality and yeah. brotherhood, yeah. sharing, thank helping you. one thank another. You. Thank you, thank you. When you see somebody who needs help with their coveralls, you should stop and help them yeah. put their coveralls back on thank so you. that they can continue to work in the garden. Thank you, thank you. All right, as Adam then continued to do so, his work. I, I work a lot. That's the reason I was able to put a banana banana plant and also mango tree. Oh, wow. And a lot of seeds I have, you know. Okay. Yeah, come on, man. So oh, Ad Adam you know. then asked the hiker, because the hiker, you notice his backpack, he was hiking towards somewhere. He had a mission, a plan, somewhere he wanted to reach. And so Adam asked the hiker, if you don't mind, may I ask you where you are going? Where are you going, buddy? And the hiker said to him, I'm looking for the kingdom of God. Don't know Do you is. know? Wow. It's a long journey. It is. Do you happen to know which way the kingdom of God is? The hiker asked Adam. But Adam didn't know. Adam said, the kingdom of God? No, I'm afraid I don't know where that is. Do you have a map? He actually did have a map with him. Look at that. Look a round that. spinning map that he could look at. Beautiful. But even looking at this round map, they weren't sure where the kingdom of God you know was. We, 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 are, we are right here. Oh, okay. In this side of the world. Okay. What they call North America. North America. All right, uh, you are right here. I don't know how he, you end up here. Can you say that one more time? No, 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 North America. North America. <laughs> yeah. They okay. found that yeah. in modern times, yeah. they're in North America. Matter of fact, you're in New York City. Yeah. You're in Queens. You're in Whitestone. You are, you are they were able York. to find you this on the York. map. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is, of course, right. a modern rendition of our story. Okay. All right, so as they Great looked map. upon the map, the hiker said, I'm looking for the kingdom of God. I'm not for sure where it is, but I'm pretty sure I'll recognize it when I see it there. So the gardener said, Adam said, if you don't have a map, how will you know when you see it? How will you know when it's there? The hiker began to tell him that it's a very, very special place, one that we could never miss one that we could always see and determine once we know it's there it's a very special place he beautiful, said beautiful beautiful so adam asked him about the kingdom of god he says what is it like maybe if you describe it i can point to you in the right direction yeah, yeah. Okay. so the hiker began to explain it well i've been told that the kingdom of god is like Imagine this, as the, he began to, to act like a storyteller, he explains how the kingdom of God is like a gardener who scatters some seed on the ground. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Adam watched him for a while as he pretended to scatter the seed, explaining what the kingdom is, of God is like. The kingdom of God is like a gardener who scattered some seed. The gardener watches them for a while. And then he goes home to bed and he forgets all about the seed. But a few days later, the gardener, gardener goes walking by and sees that the seeds have sprouted and are starting to grow. But the gardener doesn't know how. 
Hmm. Wow. As Adam thought on this, he said, this sounds kind of familiar. That might have happened once or twice before. You see, Adam knew all about it because he was a gardener too. And so do you because you've seen plants grow. We plant a seed and it grows. How does it grow? We know not. But God gives it the growth. We can provide things like water, but the sun we can't provide, maybe a lamp. But God provides the sun, God provides the weather, God provides all things. The kingdom of God is like that gardener who scattered the seeds, who had to trust that God would make it grow. Then, as the hiker reflected upon this, he says, the stalks began to grow. Then soon, a little bud on each stem. And then a few days later, it's all ripened to a grain. After a while, the entire field is full with grain. It's time to pick and harvest the grain. That's where the gardener comes in. Now, Adam knew all about this because of the fruit he provided to the hiker, to the vegetables that he was able to show him. I'm a gardener, he said. I know all about this. It's hard work, but it's amazing to see the way that such a few seeds can make enough grain to feed a lot of people. Even all of these people who are gathered here today. So the kingdom of God is like growing a garden. So the hiker responded to that and said, well, yes, but it's not an ordinary garden. Let me see, what other story could I tell you to help you understand what it's like? Oh, I know, he says, imagine this. The kingdom of God is like a teeny tiny mustard seed. That's one of the smallest seeds, you know. That's one of the tiniest seeds in the world. What good could a little mustard seed do? Adam thought about that. And he says, it doesn't seem like the tiniest seed in the world could become much of anything. So the hiker said, I, I know, but once a mustard seed is planted and starts to grow, it becomes the greatest of all shrubs. It grows large and strong and branches with the, with, so that the birds can make their nest in their shade. It's a safe place for baby birds to be born and it provides so much. So, Adam said, so you're looking for a garden and a mustard bush with some birds? Well, yes, sort of, he said. I'm going to follow a trail and keep looking. Why don't you come with me? I have some other stories I could tell you about God's kingdom. So Adam says, sure, I'll come along and keep you company. I'm a bit curious and I would like to see God's kingdom myself. Do you mind if I come with you? Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Of course not. The more the merrier. Yep. And so they began on their journey looking for the kingdom of God. And that journey will continue all throughout this day. As we look to see what God reveals about his kingdom, the kingdom of God and how it comes to each and every one of you. Jesus said, the kingdom of God is as if somebody would scatter seeds on the ground and would sleep and rise the night and the day. And the seeds would sprout and grow. And he does not know how the earth pr produces of itself, first the stalk and then the head and then the full grain of the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes with a sickle because the harvest has come. He also said, with what will we compare the kingdom of God or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which when it sprouts up upon the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. And yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make their nests and find their shade. This is the Bible passage that we will read more about today. And you guys are going to learn about the kingdom of God, how in Jesus, 
You guys, we're switching now from the Old Testament in creation to Jesus who talks about creation using the example of a sower casting seed. In Jesus, the kingdom of God comes to each one of you. Would you guys reach up high like this? In Jesus, the kingdom of God, bring your hand down right down to your, right down to your heart, boom. In Jesus, the kingdom of God comes right to you. That's what we're gonna hear about today. 